TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrial is down 26. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are off two and a half. We have the gold contract up $14.20, traded at 12 dollars 90 You have silver up 13 cents, $17.72 an ounce. Platinum's up 12 dollars an ounce. You get uh, the copper flat, two fifty five a pound. Light sweet crude down 13 cents, $47.27 a barrel. Notes. 10-year note up 9 ticks, 127 flat, 30-year bond up 23 ticks, 156.12. Bottom line, they're both confirmed ABC structures on the way up. Uh, you're talking about a 128 in the 10. You're talking about a 158 uh, inside the 30. Pretty wild. Uh, the 10-year right now is yielding 2.14. When that baby gets up uh, into finishing that uh, ABC structure on the way up, uh, if, and it looks like we're going to get that, Bottom line, that 10-year yield will be under 2% once again. King dollar. King dollar down 164 ticks, 96.590. King dollar, folks, is making its way down. It's actually only 600 ticks away from its low, which is the 95,905 area. That's in the short term. Longer term, looks like King dollar is going to go right after 91. 91 is the lower end, the consolidation that we've been in since January of 2015. Big move lower. Euro. The euro is at a dollar twelve to the U.S. dollar. That baby wants to go up to a buck sixteen, and the yen broke down last night. That's at one hundred nine point four seven. We get over. We take a look at the S and P. You get a sideways move out here. Not much action. Bottom line. Yesterday you hit a high. Uh, we uh, had a big contraction of volume. Six uh, forty four million today. It did six point three million. Um, some are trading in spades, but what we do have. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can expect more action. I do expect we're going to have a little more volatility out here today. Dow's down 35. Uh, bottom line, we'll see if any volume comes in as we pull back slightly. NDX, went, well, first off, the, the composite. The composite's down 4 bucks, 62.91. Now, the composite, in order to get to lower price, has to come down inside 62.17. So that's a long way down from where we are right now. NDX 100, same type of setup. Uh, NDX is uh, hanging at the highs up here, 58.77, and the NDX would have to get down into a 57.93. So uh, you're talking quite a way down now to get inside that lower range. Gold contract, gold caught a bid once again. Gold uh, is going after the 1300. I expect it's actually going to blow it away. That's the way it's coming into it right now. You have a uh, contract value out here today of uh, already one point. Five million contracts. That's a huge number. Uh, you're coming into 1.5 million up at 1,300. So I suspect, uh, bottom line, we'll see if it lays right under 1,300 today. If we take that 1,300 out, not today, tomorrow, because it's already expended quite a bit of energy just going from the 1,282 to the 1,297. Uh, if this waits till tomorrow morning, that baby can blow up in a big way and uh, get up into about the, about the 1,385 to 1,400 uh, level. Silver, silver is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And what you did have is that silver finally caught a bid last week. Uh, you're up another 15 cents right now. Uh, you have volume behind the move. Bottom line, silver's going after the swing high up there of 1872. And you go right back to bonds. The bond market, is just, it just will not stop. Rates are going lower, folks, no matter what the Fed does. And this bond market is moving with velocity. And when you're talking about velocity, you're talking about monster volume. You're talking a market that's 10 times bigger than the equity market. And guess what? This thing broke topside, huge volume. You're at uh, 126.25 right now. That thing wants to run to 128. You take a look at the 30-year, same type of setup. The 30-year right now, we're at the 155. That wants to run to 158. Now, it's going to be intriguing about that. If we actually do get up to that 158 in the 30-year, that is saying that you can go a lot higher because that is where that baby broke down. And what is it going to be all about? It's going to be about the breakdown on the U.S. dollar. Dollar right now going lower, has volume behind the move. Short term, 95.905. Longer term, 91. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you each and every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash T-F-N-N. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Look forward to speaking right back here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. 
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.